Hey, we just finished a sprinter gig where we put uh, three 175 watt panels up top and three Battleborn 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries down below here um, connected up to a, a Renogy three kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. Over on the left here, you have a, an Outback FM60 handling the maximum power point tracking of the solar panels. Next to that is a DC-DC battery charger. So instead of what we used to do in the old days, which is use an isolator, which would basically just switch your alternator power from your main battery and connect it to your house battery, there's a little bit more sophisticated way of doing it these days that uh, Renogy has come up with, which I really like. And it, uh, it's more of just a DC-DC converter coming up one battery to the next. And you have a little bit more options as far as when you want that to come on and when you don't. And some charging parameters for lithium batteries, which is a little different. Right now it's pretty cloudy. It's still kicking out 120 watts. Um, this is our big uh, Outback. It's actually a midnight product, a breaker box. So it has on the far side there our large 250 amp disconnect. And it also has the uh, 100 amp for the solar down here, and then another 100 amp for that DC-DC converter I just mentioned. We got one breaker over here coming down. That's where the solar panels are coming down. So everything is breakered and ready for action. So the next thing here is to just uh, hook up to the AC. And also, um, this client in particular is going to do quite a bit of DC lighting, so they'll just come directly off their DC batteries. Pretty sweet system.